Hey YouTube, and welcome to the ninth episode of Operating System Development Series provided by the iNode channel. In this episode, we're going to be changing the project structure and the building process of the project with uh, Make. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome again. So this episode will be about, uh, we're going to be focusing on uh, the building process more and more. Since I have changed the building process from, um, from the normal bash uh, file, terminal file, to the make uh, technology, make tool. But before that, I have uploaded the project uh, show you how to download it from GitHub. So, um, First of all, open up Terminal and go to where you want to download the project, say Desktop for example. Now I'm inside Desktop. Now what you have to do is type in git clone and then the address of the project. So it's git clone https colon slash slash www.github.com slash I know brain slash needles dot git now this is going to create a new folder in your desktop which contains the entire project great now we're done um, the, uh, the repository is available online you can check it out https github.com slash I know brain slash needles so this is the uh, official uh, GitHub account of I know, right? And there you go, that's the project. Great, now let's go ahead and uh, go to that folder, CD, us. Now we are inside that folder. So here we have, as you can see, I have changed the uh, structure of the project. So instead of having a bunch of new folders and stuff, all we have our source folder which has all the C and assembly files uh, including the kernel .c and uh, an include folder that has the headers that are not going to be compiled um, that are not going to be compiled okay and uh, we have a readme there in the license and the, uh, the, the, uh, the new thing is the make file. So instead of the build.sh file that we have in previous episodes, now we have a make file. So first of all, let me demonstrate uh, how this is going to work. And then I'm going to dive in into the code, the content of that file. So the make is a tool that allows you to build uh, your project in a very, very smart way. What I mean by smart, for example, is that if you build all of these files, you compile them, for example, and uh, you have not yet compiled this one. When you rebuild the project, it's not going to rebuild everything. It knows that those has not been changed, so it's not going to leave them as it is. It's going to build the utility and then combine them together once more. So it's very smart and uh, it's also uh, very efficient. Uh, so when you go to the uh, folder project, uh, this, uh, the uh, this, um, the directory of the project and you type in make the make tool is going to search for a file called make file which has um, a code that tells it how to build the project so since now I'm inside so since now I'm inside the uh, the project directory NIDOS I'm gonna type in make and then press enter now as you can see the project has been created for me and it works and it has executed all of these commands see it has executed all of these commands automatically so now if I type in make again it's great whatever so and as you can see here it has um, created a um, an object folder that has all the that has all the object files that are going to be linked and a new folder called I know which um, 
has the kernel dot bin. Perfect. Now make clear. The clear removes everything new, so everything inside the object folder has been removed. Great. Now let's dive in into the make uh, file. Now here's the make file. Now, uh, the syntax of the make file is pretty straightforward. You have a target that you want to build and you have a dependency. That dependency is a target in another place. So for example, uh, the link here is a dependency, but it is also at the same time a target. So that when, uh, when, uh, when we hit, for example, make run, um, it say, oh, I need to build run. But run requires the existence of link. So it goes to execute link. Link says, okay, I want to build link, but I need the existence of compile and these objects. So it goes and build the compile and then it returns back to build the objects and when these two are available then it goes back to execute the script and then after that it goes back to the run command since link became ready and execute the script behind it. At the top here we have a bunch of uh, variables used by uh, make tool to make it easier to change um, the uh, <coughs> to make it easier to work and on multiple environments. For example, um, here we have the emulator emulator equals chemis dash system dash i386. In other versions of Linux, it's only chemi. So by making a variable here, whenever you change your environment, all you have to do is to change the names of these packages just right here. We don't have to touch anything other than that. Uh, to access a content of variable, all you have to do is to type in its name uh, uh, between a parenthesis and then a dollar sign. So for example, here we have emulator. So to access the chemi-system-i386, all you have to do is type in dollar sign and then inside the parenthesis you type in emulator. So here, how we're, how we're building this. So to um, to compile any file, say this one, for example, to create the object slash kasm.o. Of course, this file requires the existence of the kernel.asm, so it needs first to find that file. So once that file is there, it's going to execute this. So it's going to assemble, and here are the assembly, uh, assembly flags, and then the output name, and then the input name. If you get back on the top here, the assembler will be replaced with the word NASM. And the uh, assembler flags are going to be replaced with the words dash F E L F 32. And then finally, dash O, the output name and the input name. The same thing goes with the others. So here, the compiler will be replaced with GCC. And the C flags are going to be replaced with the. Um, dash m32 dash c dash f freestanding and the uh, input file and the output file and so on and so forth so um, this compile uh, execute all of these but it first uh, remove and the object directory and then recreate it again to make sure that it exists and um, for the uh, for the link it requires the existence of all the object files that are defined here, so object kasm.o, object kc.o, and so on, that are going to be built uh, down here. And um, and finally, when they're ready, then it removes the I know folder, recreate the I know folder, create a subfolder called boot inside the I know folder, and then link the uh, all the object files inside that folder. So here the linker will be replaced with LD, the LD flags are going to be replaced with uh, dash M ELF I386 dash T source link um, <coughs> dot LD and then the output file which is defined here I know slash boot slash kernel dot bin and then the object files that are need to be that are going to be uh, linked together here are so object ksm.o and so on and this finally uh, a clear 
command which is gonna basically remove um, the uh, all the content of the object directory and then it's gonna remove the um, and then it's gonna remove the I know folder and let's also remove the object directory so dash f dash r obg slash great now if you'd like for example to clear the project to make it just as it is we said that we need to type in make clear and that's the initial version of the project now this is the content of this episode now in the next episode we're going to be cre creating um, a, a simple shell which do pretty basic stuff like um, like calling programs and uh, doing basic operations like uh, searching for GCDs and solving matrices just like a calculator so the, our operating system is pretty simple so it's not so complicated and that's um, that's the whole point is to make something simple that everyone could understand uh, so see you in the next uh, episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have questions, comment. Don't forget to leave them in the sec comment section below. Also, do not forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook, um, Twitter, um, Google+. You can also find our website in the description section below, www.inobrain.work. Also, if you'd like to uh, support us, we're very happy for that. So thank you and see you in next episode.